Imagine your world reaching a whole new audience, captivating players on their mobile devices and web browsers. Want to know the secret to creating those immersive cross-platform experiences? Well, you're in the right place. I'm Velen. Creating mobile-compatible experiences opens up your world to a wider audience and can contribute to increased engagement levels. So let's get started and explore how you can create amazing experiences for mobile and web players. By the end of this World's Creator Academy tutorial, you'll know how to develop for mobile devices, create intuitive custom UIs, use camera features for immersion, design optimized interactions, and test and publish your mobile compatible world. So let's dive in. Let's start with a basic acknowledgement. This is quite different from VR. Mobile and web platforms have unique challenges and limitations you need to consider if you want your worlds to work well and run smoothly on these platforms. Let's take a look at the three biggest differences between mobile, web, and VR, plus explore how to design your world to work well on each platform. The first difference is how players control the experience. Mobile players use touch-based controls, on-screen joysticks and buttons, to move and interact. Web players rely on keyboard and mouse to control their experience. And VR players get full hand tracking and motion controls to interact and navigate. Each needs a completely different approach. The second difference is screen size and immersion. Mobile and web players see your world through small flat screens with size limitations, while VR players get a full 360 degree immersive experience. As a creator, you need to design your worlds with mobile and web screen size limitations in mind and make sure that important elements like custom UIs and interactive objects are easily accessible and visible on smaller displays. And the third difference is interaction methods. Since mobile and web players interact with worlds differently, you may need to create separate input systems or adapt the gameplay experience for each platform. This can be done using scripts that check the player's device type and respond accordingly. For example, while VR players can reach out and grab an object, mobile and web players may need to use a button press or a touch input to perform the same action. By tailoring the interaction methods of each platform, you can ensure that your world provides a great experience for both mobile and web players despite their unique limitations. Now that you understand the key platform differences, let's dive into the essential best practices for designing interactions in mobile. The first best practice is to use the device type API to check for mobile compatibility. This property allows you to check whether a player is using VR, mobile, or web, and adjust the controls, tutorials, and UI accordingly. For example, when displaying a tutorial message, you can use device type to show different instructions for each platform, such as press the B button to jump for VR, or tap the screen button to jump for mobile. The second best practice is to design text and UI for small screens. Keep in mind that mobile screens are small, so you want to make your text and UI elements large and clear. You want to use large legible fonts and keep text concise to avoid cluttering the screen. It's best to attach text to the player's screen rather than placing it in the world. This ensures that the text remains visible and readable regardless of the player's position or orientation. And the third best practice is to configure grabbable objects properly. To get the most out of them, it's important to configure a few key properties in the object settings panel. First, start by selecting an avatar pose. This dropdown determines how the player's avatar holds the object, and it also triggers a default animation when the action button is pressed, like pointing, swinging, or aiming, depending on the pose. Next, check the grab anchor settings. This lets you fine tune how the object attaches to the player's hand in both VR and mobile. For example, you can set the offset so a tool lines up correctly, whether it's tapped on mobile or grabbed in VR. When these settings are aligned, pose and anchor, Grabbing feels more responsive, and gameplay feels intentional. Follow these best practices, and you'll give players a smoother, more polished experience, no matter what device they're using. Now let's talk about the other half of the mobile experience, camera controls and how players see your world. Camera controls shape your player's entire experience and sense of immersion. Mobile and web cameras work completely differently from VR, so you need to optimize them specifically for these devices. A key tool for controlling the camera in mobile and web experiences is the mobile camera feature. This feature lets you set the default camera mode for mobile and web players the moment they enter your world. You'll find this in the Spawn Point Gizmos Properties panel, or you can set it programmatically using the Camera API. But how do you choose the right default camera mode for your world? Consider the type of experience you're creating and how camera position affects player engagement and comfort. For example, third person works great for platformers and adventure games, while first person is perfect for puzzle games or immersive storytelling. Beyond setting the default camera mode, 
You can also use scripts to customize camera behavior based on player actions or game states. For example, you might create a script that smoothly transitions the camera to a new position or triggers a specific event when the player reaches a certain location. Get your camera controls right and you'll create engaging, immersive experiences that work perfectly on mobile and web platforms. So you've learned some essential best practices now for mobile and web development. Here's what to do next. Start experimenting with the device type API for platform specific interactions. Optimize your text and UI for small screens. Configure grabbable objects with avatar poses and grab anchors. And test different camera modes to enhance the player experience. As you apply these techniques, remember to test your world on various devices to ensure compatibility and optimal performance. Ready to build mobile-friendly worlds? Check the description for additional resources. Now go create something amazing, and we'll see you in the next video.